um, Daz. Kit time again. I seem to have a component tester kit and a Valman um, signal tracing kit. I keep meaning to build a signal tracer, but I'm too lazy, so I might just build this. See how we get on with it. Right, I've unwrapped the component test kit. And this is what I've got. I've got a nice board, blue, bag of components, sockets. It's nice looking hardware here. There is some instructions with it. A couple of pages in English and Chinese, so there is something there. There's also a link for further information. But well, I'm quite impressed with what I've seen so far. They all look good quality parts here. And the resist even got to the trouble of labelling the resistors, which is impressive because they're four bands. Three bands I can look at and just identify, but uh, four bands I can't, I must admit. Some voltage regulator here and uh, voltage reference. Very, very nice. Yes, it looks like a uh, interesting build. Time is a bit of a premium with me these days and there's a tendency for me to rush things and I've made a right mess of this kit, <clears throat> I've got to be honest. First um, silly mistake was to reverse polarity the input. Luckily I had the current limit turned right down to something very low so it hasn't done any damage and the CPU wasn't in at the time. Uh, other puzzlements was just checking that the uh, direction of this voltage regulator because it's not a metal cased one like shown on the diagram. Uh, I did have a go at cleaning the PCB with some solvent so there isn't any leakage paths but I was a bit worried when I switched it on and nothing happened of course it was the contrast control that needed adjusting. Um, I'm just trying to figure a few screws and things out at the moment. Um, it looks like it's supported around the edge so I would imagine these here are just for show. So these are just going to go in just to fill the holes up I assume. So what other purpose they could serve. 
but yeah, my other mistake was not I couldn't find I couldn't get the instructions online for some reason. Perhaps didn't look hard enough, but uh, I found some photographs uh, from the original listing I bought this from, and that's helped to uh, work out where the screws and things go. But anyway, not too bad a build, I think. Um, not too bad at all. Just don't rush it. Yes, I wondered what these screws were for, and uh, I think it's uh, obvious what those slots are for. They puzzled me to start with. You can tell my mechanical ability isn't good, can't you? But uh, that's uh, how the screw fits in there. Hmm. I'm a little curious to this on-off switch on the side, because I just assumed it got a high standby current. But it doesn't seem to have, mind you. PP3 doesn't have much capacity. Um, this is only reading to 10 microamps, but... Does it draw when it's on or around 20 milliamps that's not too bad is it it's quite good considering you've got a backlight I'm quite impressed by that a little pulse there good okay okay I'm just gonna have a bit of fun here um, what was this one say uh, 32.36 what's this one say I think I've grabbed it. Have I missed? No, I've missed. Look, oh, be a bit more careful. There we go. Let's see what this one says. Uh, 31.96. So, a little bit of a disagreement there. Let's try 10 ohm. So it's 9.9. .9. See what this one says. Ten point one. Well, I think in the ballpark they're not far different, are they really? Let's put uh, another resistor in there. That's a one meg. Yeah. Did I grab it? Oh, I'll try again. Oh, nine point, that's better. Nine, nine, eight point eight. What's this one say? Nine, nine, five point two. Right. Right, this is a 33. This is 35. What's this one say? It is. Is... 33.7, so that's not bad. It was a 47. Let's see how this comes out. Thirty point nine seven. Let's try that again. Thirty one nine seven. Okay, this one. Thirty one point three two. Hmm. That's obviously not reading very accurate, uh, this capacitor. Well, that's not too bad, I think, for the price of this, you know, considering this is a much more expensive, better meter, I think this does very well. Try an inductor. Just grab something out of the drawer. <sighs> 41 micro Henry's. What's this one say? Point nor four millihenries, so not so much resolution, but you know, good guide. 
to try electrolytic. 33.2 ohm. Let's see what it looks like in here. Try again. <laughs> Thirty-four point seven seven ESR not point nine two. So, and my pen stopped working. <laughs> Typical. Um, so that's not uh, too far apart yet. So uh, I'm not going to complain for around a tenner. So it's a useful second tester, I guess. Right, this is a BFX85, which um, has just arrived. MPN silicon transistor, Hive 135. And what's the pins? Uh, test cuts, formula amp, no leakage. So collector is blue that's the case that looks right red is base that looks right okay Let's see what this one does okay uh, one is a meter yeah I think that's right in it yeah let's collect to the opposite end base in the middle this one says it's 143, so ain't much difference. Um, where's the Ford? 0 0.72, so there's a bit of difference in the Ford voltage, but it might be the current it uses. Okay, good. So, um, yeah, a bit of fun that, building one of these as a kit. I made a bit of a boo-boo on some of it, but... Uh, it's working at the end of the day, so a useful second tester. Um, if I don't want to use my best one, so very useful. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you found it interesting and uh, have a little giggle of me uh, getting things wrong. It's always uh, hilarious. Um, you know, none of us are perfect, especially when we're in a rush or we're tired. So, um, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.